So I heard you want to beat the Lost Sector fast. What's good guys, it's Zen, and I'm here with your daily Lost Sector guide. Now I have over 4,000 hours in this game, so if you listen to these tips, we will get those runs going as fast as possible for you and get those exotics. Now all of the information I dropped throughout this video is super concise and I drop relevant tips throughout the entire video. So be sure not to skip anything and watch the entire video for the best exotic farm. I'll give some additional info about this guide while I show you how to get there. But if you want, you already know where it's at. Feel free to skip to this time to get right into the guide. Now if you need exotic arms, you lucked out because this is one of the easiest lost sectors to farm in the game. I highly recommend spending a few hours grinding this one, since if you follow the tips I dropped throughout the video, you'll be getting regular 3 minute clears, some of the fastest times in the game. In this video I will be using no exotics. This is because I want this guide to be universally useful to anyone watching. Whether or not you have certain builds unlocked, I want to be able to help. With that in mind, I will also not be using any class specific abilities, like rifts, dodging, barricades, supers. This way, the guide is applicable to any class. However, exotics of course will help out your runs, so at the end of the guide I'll give build recommendations to increase your efficiency if you have the options available to you. And now that you know how to get there, let's get right into the guide. So for today's Lost Sector, we have Overload and Unstoppable Champions, and we have 10 Void Shielded Opponents. So obviously what that means is we're going to want to run a Void Gun, and we're going to need to stun those champions. So let's talk about the build. We'll start with the class. You're going to want to run Void. Now your aspects don't matter, obviously, because this is going to be universal for all three classes. You're going to want to run Vortex Grenades. Now what's really important here are your fragments. We are going to be taking advantage of Devour, so slap on that Echo of Starvation. We're also going to be using a Glaive. So you're going to want to put on this, which gives you health regeneration when you get melee final blows. And you're going to want to run Echo of Persistence to increase your Devour duration. Now since we have Unstoppables, we're going to be using Glaives. I highly recommend these because you can take care of all the unstoppable champions without using any ammo. This is great for your ammo economy. You can get those three minute clears without a single heavy brick dropping. I'm using Ecleptic Distaff, which is the seasonal pursuit weapon that you can get from Shax or Zavala. Since we're gonna be running a close range build, I'm also gonna be using a Solar Sword. Now it doesn't mention it here, but this Lost Sector has a Solar Surge which means that this sword gets a 25% damage buff for free. I'm also using a bow because it has overload as well as the sword, but with the bow, it's primary, so you can stun them without using any ammo. Now for my helmet, I'm using Solar and Void Siphon because they drop orbs of power, which is gonna give us that devour that we need. The gauntlets really don't matter too much, but I recommend running these as they're gonna give you high grenade uptime, and they're going to give you an orb of power when you get a grenade kill. For your chest, you're going to want to run three melee resistance mods since we're going to be in everything's face with this build, but if you can just run two, that's also great. Now your boots and class item are very important because they're going to give you that weapon bonus damage for your sword. You're going to want to run two solar weapon surge mods as well as stacks on stacks. Stacks on Stacks gives you additional armor charge when you pick up the Orbs of Power, and with Solar Surge, those armor charges give you a huge solar weapon damage bonus. Time Dilation makes the weapon damage bonus last longer. Now the reason we're running this close range weapon build is because it's going to give you the fastest clears for this lost sector, hands down, and when combined with Devour and 100 Resilience, it is very doable and you're not really going to run into any issues if you just follow the tips that I show you. Now for your stats, they don't really matter too much, but what does matter is that you have 100 resilience. 100 discipline is good on top of that as it's going to give you the devour with the firepower mod, but again, it doesn't really matter too much. Now that you know the build, let's get right into the walkthrough. Alright, so hopping right into the walkthrough here. You see up ahead, we have a bunch of ads. Now what you can do is throw your grenade. I believe that's what I'm gonna do. 
or you can just double glaive them, you're going to want to pick up the Orb of Power. Now you see we have Devour proc. we're just going to push this Unstoppable Champion and start meleeing him. Now remember, you're going to want to block while you're meleeing. You see I'm getting low, but it's great that there's a bunch of adds behind me uh, to get my health back with Devour, obviously. You'll see that I flick every now and then just to get my health back up while I'm just dealing with this Unstoppable. The great part about running a Glaive is we are not running out of ammo here because obviously we're just meleeing. So it's, it's pretty nice. We're just going to power through this Unstoppable pretty easily. Now what you should be doing while he's shooting out of his shield is just blocking. It actually gives you 97% damage resist. So this is great if you're a little under leveled like I am. I'm, I'm running this at only 1820. Now what I'm doing here is I'm trying to reproc my Devour. And you're going to want to kill these adds in the back like I was doing just now. Um, so there's an unstoppable ahead that we're going to want to take care of next. Um, but the issue is if there's a bunch of adds right where I'm standing right now shooting at you, they will kill you even though you're constantly getting Devour. You won't, you'll run out of adds to kill. You can't just cheese it like I did the last unstoppable by uh shooting down ads not if there's ads behind you where i was previously standing so you're gonna want to take like like right that guy right there you're gonna want to take care of them you see i'm taking some damage i need to back up but it's fine again i'm just gonna stun him and kill him without using any heavy any ammo at all actually it's fantastic Okay, so with that guy down, we're going to head up top, take care of this guy with the Void Shield real quick, just so we can 1v1 that Overload Champion. You're not going to want to have an adge shooting at you while you're trying to deal with this guy, because as you can see, you can shoot those orbs and they do quite a bit of damage. Just kill him with the sword. Now I was conserving my sword ammo, but your sword stuns overloads, so you don't really need to do that. Um, if you just use your ammo correctly. So we're going to push up, we're going to reproc our Devour by throwing this nade down, because you're going to want Devour to deal with the void shielded enemies at the top section there. I'm going to kill these guys, because you need to kill them anyways to spawn the boss. One thing that's frustrating about this lost sector is, as you can see, you will constantly get frozen. That's why you got to kind of always be on the move so it doesn't really hit you. But again, we're just going to take care of these guys. And then, typically, I would kill the Overload Champion before the boss spawns. But the boss actually spawned early this time. So, with my Devour proc, you're going to want to make sure it's proc. You just head up here, start sorting the boss down. He's going to stop you. It does a lot of damage. But your sword is going to get you so much HP from Devour. So, it's, it's fairly simple just keep sorting the boss and boom he's dead no exotics no supers just guns and a little bit of devour which everyone gets for free now you've already seen that you don't really need exotics to do anything in this game i've shown you that but they will speed up your runs so i'm going to talk about some things that you can run if you have these options available to you Number one is going to be Wither Horde. Now what this is going to do for you in a Lost Sector is you'll shoot it at a champion before you start glaiving and meleeing them. This is obviously going to mean that they're going to die a lot faster, which is just going to speed up your runs that much more. Now Acre Scepter is great as well because you shoot one Scion with it and then all the other ones around it get frozen. This is just easy ad clear in a Lost Sector where ad clear is so important. Now the final option and the best one, in my opinion, is the Lament. This is going to give you exotic, heavy damage, while also healing you for your attacks. This pairs really well with Devour and is going to give you great sustainability. This is my pick. Now for Titan, as I see it, you have three options. Laurelly Splendor is going to give you a Sunspot when you cast your Barricade, and it's great because you get the overshield from the barricade, plus you get restoration. A lot of people think it only works on solar, which is just not true. This is an all around amazing exotic on pretty much every single class in the game. You also have Stronghold, which functions pretty well with swords, as when you block, you get health back for damage that you would have received. 
definitely a slept on exotic there. And you also have access to armamentarium, which is gonna give you an additional grenade charge. Also, even though it has been nerfed, Heart of Inmost Light is still a great exotic option for Titans. If you ask me, my pick is Laurelly Splendor, just due to that great synergy between the Barricade and the Restoration. Now for Hunter, you're gonna wanna run something that bolsters your invisibility, like Graviton's Forfeit or Omnioculus. Graviton's Forfeit extends the duration of your invisibility, but we're going for fast runs, so if you ask me, my recommendation for Hunter is going to be Omnioculus, as it gives you that damage resist while invis. Another option is Star Eater Scales. Since you're going to be picking up so many orbs to proc Devour, you'll just get your super that much faster with Star Eater Scales. The choice is yours, but I do recommend Omnioculus. Now for Warlock, you actually have a couple options since we're going to be running a Glaive build. I like to bolster the melee off of the Glaive with something like Winter's Guile, which gives you additional melee damage after you get a melee kill. You could also run Nothing Manacles and run Scatter Grenades. Instead of the Vortex, you could use Controverse Hold for additional Void Grenade energy after you land hits. You could even use Eyes of Another World for additional ability regen. It truly doesn't matter. Like I've said, you can run this with no exotics at all. Now if you found any value in this video, a subscribe would be super appreciated. These videos are super in-depth content, and I try to make them as useful as possible to everyone, while also being short and to the point. I upload Lost Sector guides every single day, as well as other good Destiny 2 and some Pokemon content. Either way, thanks for watching, and good luck farming guardians. See you tomorrow for the next Lost Sector.